Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I had a thought for you for the solar maximum, solar cycle 25 that we're now in. I know that sometimes the incoming light can be just overwhelming because there's so much of it coming in. And uh, sometimes that causes feelings of stress or anxiety or upset or fear or uh, anger or, or like that because because it's something brand new and uh, and unexpected, unknown. Um, when that happens, it's good to keep in mind that though we may doubt ourselves, uh, what is really happening during these processes of the incoming light is, is what is termed in psychology self-actualization. It's, it's, it's true, it involves a breaking down of the old, but it also involves the restructuring of the energy system so that we can experience a whole new you. You know what I mean? Something grand and great and different and, and very fine is in the making. So even though it may seem that at, for a moment or two that, that everything is going south, that's not really the truth of the issue. We're undergoing the process, one of the highest processes that humankind can ever uh, experience. That is called the experience of self-actualization. Now, here's the rub. If you tell that to a psychologist or a psychiatrist, they'll go, eh, what does this guy know? Why would they say that? It's because, now just think about this, the majority of human beings have not yet integrated at that higher level. And many psychologists and psychiatrists don't really know what that means, even though in their psychological texts they've read about it. So, so if you walk in and say, I'm experiencing a reorganization of my entire energy system, they'll, they'll not really know what you're talking about. You have to take that into consideration. They might offer you valuable advice, maybe meds that you need to help you along, but overall they might not know what goal, what true goal, what great goal you have in mind for yourself. And the other thing is this, I remember Peggy Black, spiritual counselor, used to say a lot that if the light is too bright coming in, well she may not have used these exact words, but she used to say if the light is too bright uh, or if what's coming to you is too much for you right now, if spirit is giving you a little too much to deal with right now, all you have to do is say to spirit and to your ascension team that you would like to put it off till later on or that you would just prefer not to deal with that at all for the time being. So. During this ascension process, we have some choices, you know. We can choose to go with the flow and absorb all the energy at one time as the incoming light affects Earth and changes her as well. And in that case, we might need to seek help because it might be kind of rough ride for a little bit, but keeping in mind that the goal is self-actualization, a much greater experience of self. Or we can choose to put it off for a while, that's perfectly fine. And you know, once the light comes in, it's there in your energy field waiting to be unfurled at whatever time you choose to accept it. Well, that's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.